It's not even lip gloss in the name. It's a lip balm for the name of like y'all. That's a valid critique. What are y'all mad at her for? Literally, what are y'all mad at her for? Like, it's really giving that no one can say anything bad about a black business because then you're trying to tear this black business down. What is up, everybody? Hello. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hello. My name is Ashley. I do a variety of different content, mostly in beauty, skincare, wellness. And I just recently implemented reaction videos to my content in those same niches beauty skincare wellness <laughs> um so yeah i thought that this video would be very interesting i feel like if you're in the influencer world like me content creation world uh beauty world and you know the brand topicals now i've seen some videos on tiktok about um some uh, negative reactions to their new product their new like lip balm slash lip gloss and um people were just giving negative reviews about it on tiktok now why is this important this is important because topicals is a black owned brand so it's found its founder is a black woman so you know because of that you have to navigate the waters differently so yeah i came across three videos that i thought would be interesting to react to and talk about and uh, open the discussion on YouTube. So yeah. I just want to remind y'all this brand right here is owned by a black woman. Now the reason why I say that is I really want y'all to be able to speak your mind and talk about how the lip stuff feels for you as an individual. That is okay. But also remember that it is a black woman that owns this business. So there is a way that you can give constructive criticism without being rude, without being mean, without bashing the company. There is a way to do that. And some people I have seen that yes, they give their, you know, constructive criticism. They talk about how it as an individual, you know, it doesn't really work for their lips but they they love the brand and maybe giving you know feedback on other things that they can try for the actual product but there are other people on here that have gotten so rude and mean and just oh i i don't know why people talking about it. it's the worst stuff ever it's the worst about ever you ain't gotta do all that sis you ain't gotta do all that yeah so i definitely agree what she's said so far as i said when a brand is black owned or black women owned you kind of have to navigate the waters differently, you know, um, when it comes to, you know, um, reviews and negative comments, negative reviews, um, things of that sort. So, um, yeah, it's one thing to critique a brand um, with the product, with how they handle business, but then to just be like nasty and, you know, and it's even worse when like the brand is black owned we all know reasons why you know um but i definitely can say that like um sometimes we are sometimes we are our worst enemy in the black community you know we should and we do we uplift each other but then there's the other side where it's sort of like what is it crabs in the barrel mentality the company is still fairly new topicals so yeah there's something called constructive criticism right and then on the flip side of the coin it's just you're giving negative like you're being mean negative unnecessarily like unkind you know so there is a way to go about it especially to another sister why would you want to do that why what are you getting for that all you need to do is say your two cents you can give your feedback you can give your um your review of how you feel about it but once again this is owned by a black woman so be very careful on how you get on this app and you talk about the company and the brand as a whole again i definitely agree with everything she said you know if you don't like the product um of a brand all right like say why how they can improve why you didn't like it okay whatever but like then there's a way to do that without being nasty and mean you know okay now let's see what this person had to say so everybody is upset about this lady getting on here and critiquing the topicals lip balm that they just came out with and it's crazy to me because her critique was really aimed at um influencers because she was like 
why didn't y'all say that it has a sticky consistency and now people are like oh you can just say that you put too much on you're trying to start a tropicals hate train and woo, 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 what we not doing is gonna bat- bash a black business and woo, woo, woo. y'all people can't make critiques anymore literally her critique wasn't even for topicals it was more so for influencers because if she would have known that it has such a sticky consistency she wouldn't have purchased it because she don't like those things That's a valid critique. And it's not even marketed as something that would be tacky. It's marketed as something that would be hydrating for your lips. Literally, you could wear it all day as long lasting, etc. It's marketed as a hydrator, not a lip gloss. It's not even lip gloss in the name. It's a lip balm for the name of like, y'all, that's a valid critique. What are y'all mad at her for? Literally, what are y'all mad at her for? Like, it's really giving that no one can say anything bad about a black business because then you're trying to tear this black business down. Or maybe someone just wants to actually review the fucking product properly. Y'all. Oh, man. Oh, man. So that video that she's talking about um, where the girl was like, being mean about the product or influencers reviewing the product. I actually did see that video on TikTok. Um, and as this like TikToker said, and the one we just watched, there's nothing wrong with giving constructive criticism and giving criticism as long as you're like kind about it. You know, for me personally, I haven't used the product before. I have seen what it looks like um and the views have been like 50 50 on it it kind of makes me do want to go ahead and buy it um because one thing really one thing about like social media whether it's hate or love um it gives the brand or company like publicity whether it's negative or positive you know it seems like the problem here is that it's the product is advertised as a bomb but people are saying that the product is too sticky and we all know lip glosses, some of them do tend to be sticky. So um, I guess it's just like a personal choice, you know, but again, I can't really talk about it since I've never used the product, but if you have used the new Topicals lip balm, definitely let me know in the comments because I even really can't give my um, like critique or like love on the product because I never used it. So, but it does make me kind of want to go and buy it. So now let's look at the next and last video about the uh, Topicals lip balm. One thing the girls are going to do is drag it. Whether they drag it high, whether they drag it low, they just going to drag the issue somewhere they don't need to go. Like all of this hoopla over a lip balm is deeply unserious. It's 21 days into the new year. Like, did you start your new year's resolutions? Did you even start those new habits before you decided to start fussing over a lip balm? Who's to say? I don't know. But let me just go ahead and throw in my two cents to round out the dollars since we're already talking about the topical slip bomb. I think she's cute. Um, on today's episode of Made for Melanin, I would say she's definitely made for melanin, made by melanin. So automatic gold stars. I think that it's refreshing. I like the mint. I think my lips have been softer since I started using it. In terms of the stickiness, I'm a lip gloss warrior. I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. So it's really not that sticky, especially if you're a lip gloss connoisseur. And you know what I'm talking about. Like... It's no stickier than a beauty splash or lip gloss, and those are not really that sticky, so. But, you know, try it if you want to, or don't. I'd recommend it. I think she's cute. But I gotta say, it's really not worth beefing over, though. So, I've I've seen, as I said, I've seen some of the videos of, like, girls, like, replying to another girl's, like, video about the product, and it's, like, all this over lip gloss, like, I just, it's just insane. Like, what? Like, give your opinion about it good or bad and then go about your day go about your business like i don't know but um she's one of the um so the video we just saw she's one of the positive obviously reviews of the lip balm it definitely does make me want to go to sephora and get it (laughs) but yeah it's it's stupid beefing over um a product like it is a damn product like so what can we learn from all this we can learn that it is okay to give constructive criticism to a brand or product whether they are black owned or not right and as long as you're not mean-spirited or like i don't know like unkind or 
like those vibes when giving your like review of a product you know especially if it's a black owned brand you know and topicals is still fairly a new brand i believe it was launched or founded in 2020 i'm not sure about that correct me if i'm wrong so still a fairly new brand you know um but i'm definitely happy um since it is black owned black woman owned and it definitely is successful i mean if you just check out topicals like instagram and tiktok they're kind of popping you know um it's definitely an inspiration okay <laughs> being like in that world you know so um yeah definitely um give your thoughts about what we just watched what i said um like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye